Hey guys, it's Stunner here, and welcome to another episode of the Need for Speed Most Wanted Mod Showcase. And in today's episode, we've got a, bit, a little bit of a special thing that's going to be happening. This entire episode is devoted to three completely different Lamborghini Gallardo mods that I was given per courtesy of Q96, because, you know, people like Q, The Real Meal, uh, and whatnot, have been bombarding me with so many goddamn car mod requests that you're going to be seeing a lot of their re requests. So, yeah, like, I... Maybe uh, get it lifting the whole one per thing may have been a bad idea in the long run, but hey, it does give me more cars to test at least in the in the end. So I cannot complain about that. Anyways, so first up we have here out of the Gallardos is the 2013 LP560-4, which I, I felt like doing as the first one because well, it's the most simple one. You also probably notice a couple differences, and before, when you, if you're wondering what's going on about that, that is something that'll be ha that'll uh, be explained more later. I can't really go into it right now, as it as the author does not really want me to share about it. But you can you can pretty much see the idea already. But regardless of that, though, we're going to be heading into the Petersburg test track, giving the Gallardo a good uh, a good four laps just to see what kind of a. Uh, a good four laps just to see what kind of lap time that we can get out of it. And we're gonna, and of course, as always, we put the best one, the best time it does, goes on the leaderboard. I'm a little bit out of it. I guess you could, so I apologize, it's kind of sounded a bit weird. I, I am slightly out of it right now. Mostly because I'm, because I, I, I do have to prepare for a convention that I'm going to, uh, starting later today. I mean, it doesn't start technically till tomorrow, but the person wants me to be there. Uh, to, uh, today because we're, I'm going into a hotel room with him and what is up with this 175 miles an hour that's it <clears throat> there's no seventh gear or nothing this thing tap tops out at 175 that's which is very strange I mean it certainly drives a lot nicer than the uh, the standard Gallard the Gallardo that already exists in the game has got great acceleration and great and great handling but why is it only a hunt top at only 175. That's a bit of a questionable top speed. Like I don't know why 100. Why this person thought 175 is all this car needed. It's very strange. And before you start asking, no, I did put all that I could performance-wise into this. I also forgot to show off the visuals too. Shit, I just realized that. Uh, of course, you can always sh you can change the wheels as always. Paint can be changed. Uh, this thing actually has support for spoilers and roof scoops but eh, I don't really feel like putting either of those on no, no body kits no hoods none of that I will show that off real quickly before we cut to the next one I'm gonna have to this is this video will have a little bit more editing because as you probably would have guessed all three Gallardos that I'm gonna be showing off in this episode replace the already existing Gallardo in the game so that means I gotta quit out of the game twice to replace a Gallardo mod with another so and I'm being so goddamn careless right now I really am but that's only yeah that's only a 59.76 it would be better but again the modder only made this car apparently go 175 this thing could be doing so much better if it didn't top out 175 I don't know why 175 is like I mean, you gotta be honest with yourself. When you're making a mod, would you really want to make a car only do 175? Especially since all it really is is an updated model of an already existing car in the game that has a higher top end than this. It 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 just it makes no. It really just doesn't make any sense to me, to be honest. So I don't know why 175 is all this thing will do. Maybe the person thought, eh, it handles good enough. They won't really, they won't really need it. Yeah, but it would still be nice to see this car at least do a little bit more realistically to what the actual top speed of the car would be in real life this car in real life can pretty much hit just about 200 so that would, it would have been nicer to at least see it at least get closer to around that 200 mark and yeah 57.88 with a not screwed up lap this time around so now if you if you've seen the video that's already gone up for the need to speed carbon uh, thing you'll know that I'm just gonna go be sticking to this view from now on because it's just you know a little more convenient, a little, just you know, I get a I get a good feel using this camera angle. So again, wow, 
This thing is completely topped out. It, 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 there's, there's no other parts I can put in this. It's just 175 seems to be all it's got. Which just... It, it baffles me. It, it really does. I don't know why. I mean, I really like the later Gallardos. I mean, I, I wouldn't say the 2013 one is specifically my favorite. I kind of preferred the facelift prior to this one. This one I think is a little... Mm, but... Yeah, even still, I just, I just don't, I just don't get it. I, I really don't. That doesn't, it just, it doesn't make a lot of sense, to say the least. But, yeah, 57.90 is the best this thing's gonna do. So I'm gonna do a jump cut as we cut to the next Gallardo. And next up we have is the 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo LP570-4 Superleggera, perhaps one of the most interesting Gallardos out there. Just be simply because it's it took what's already, a, uh, in my opinion, the best looking of the Gallardos, made it more aggressive, and basically made it a really interesting uh, car to to see view at. Uh, so body kit wise, it actually has quote unquote body kits. All it really is is just giving the car like a special. Well, like more special paint scheme based on you know real life colors like a, the green, the orange, that uh, more realistic yellow, a gray, and a white. I'm gonna go for, whoops, I'm gonna go for the green because it looks great in the green. Uh, you can't really do other than that though. You can't really do anything else. I apologize for not having shown off the uh, 2013 one, but as I already mentioned, it pretty much is the uh, is the same is the whole. You can put on spoilers and uh, spoilers and whatnot, but that's about it. And of course, because these body kits kind of already give it like a paint, it, you can, won't actually see it. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Anyways, as we're gonna go back over to Petersburg, I gotta fill out the info again because of course I already restarted the game. So, so yeah. So there you go. This there is our second car, and hopefully this thing won't have the whole it tops out at 175 miles an hour bo bollocks. Oh, I actually kind of like this a little bit more. It actually... Hmm, that's interesting. It actually has, like, the stock... The more stock Gallardo sound in the game as the upgraded sound. Which, honestly, I think is a lot better because it's a, it's a lot more accurate compared to the upgraded Gallardo sound. And there, look at that. This thing will definitely do more than 175 miles an hour. That's a lot better. In fact, this thing, this thing speed-wise, is actually pretty damn good. Got, this thing's got some. This thing's got some good speed to it, and it's actually and handling's not bad either. I mean, it's not nothing to blow your mind, you blow your socks off. But this thing's this thing's pretty good. It can look at that over 220. It's good. It's got a good speed. It's it's fun. This is this is a really good car. This is I think a much would be a much better replacement than uh, than uh, the that 2013 LP560. And you know it is the Super Legera, which I really like. So you know there's there's another thing for you. Whoops, I accidentally cut that level. So there you go. That was the first lap, too. And that's a 57.20. So this is already faster than the 2013 Gallardo. And that was the first lap. So the second lap, we're going to have... This thing will pretty much be higher up the table, which, which will be pretty nice to see. As we continue to grasp around the track here. Yeah, I really like this. It's, it it looks great. It drives great. It has a more re, it has a more accurate sound for his exhaust note. It's it's really good. I mean, I'm I'm really I'm really liking the way this thing is so far. I was really close between there too. That was that was really good. It's got to really you got to really hug these corners sometimes to make to get the best out of it. Oh dear. That was a little hairy, but that's a 53.54. If this was the first car mod we would have tested, this would have been second place. This thing's really good. It's not. It's not top. It's just, it's out of the top. It's just out of the top 10, but it's but it's uh it's really good. It's top 20 for sure. It'd be and it'd be greater if I could actually you know not run into a million things. Oh yeah, this is the close camera angle. Okay. I was thinking I might have had the further one out, but no, it's, this is the uh, closest I can get, so. Hey, look at that, 220. Hey, this thing, and this thing just does it with ease. It has no problem getting to that speed. Yeah, I find it's just got a... 
So that's the thing I still want to do is just hug these corners. Is hug the corners. And there we go. A lot smoother out of there. And there. So now we can come out of here with a lot more speed. Oh, shit. I kind of screwed that one up a little bit. That's okay. It's just just got to keep going. I could still have a chance to beat the time, but... Oh, oh, damn it. I was... That one felt really... That one felt... That was felt like a really good entry, but then I bonked the wall, so... Not nah, so much. Still still doing really fast, so this car is really damn good. It's a very impressive mod. It looks great. It, it drives great. I can't... I can't say much else because it's just a really good... It's just a really good mod, so... Ooh, that was... Ooh, that was really close, but I just kept it off. Regardless of that. <laughs> and there we go. That that felt really damn good. But was that the best slap? Yes, it was, in fact. A 53.07. So if this was the if this was the first car mod we ever did, this would become the new leader. But there you go. 53.07. That's a very damn good lap for this car. It's that was that was one hell of a run. So, anyways, we've got one more Gallardo after this, which means I gotta do one more. Uh, transition so I will see you I will see you back one more time and finally the last Gallardo we have here is yet another 2013 Gallardo it's the LP 570-4 Super Trofeo yes a pretty much a full-on racing Gallardo and this thing looks absolutely insane but after this the incredible performance from the Super Legera can the Super Trofeo do any better now there's nothing in parts that I can show off but I can thankfully, however, show off that paint-wise, it's got paint, obviously, which is, well, I guess to be expected. But one thing that this car can do, unlike the other two Gallardos, vinyls! You can actually put vinyls on the car, and because, uh, thanks to NLG's excellent extra options build, we can actually put Ming's livery on the Super Trofeo. So, there you go. This is pretty much, I guess, similar to what Ming's Gallardo would look like. If he were driving the Super Trofeo. In fact, I will actually show off a little comparison before we start the uh, to go into Petersburg one more time here. If I can just quickly do get all this set. So if we go into the bonus. Yeah, that's what his car would look like. It's not so. Yeah, of course it's not. I don't have it exact, but you know, you get the you get the idea. But yeah, there you there you go. We're gonna take this and I'm hoping I'm honestly hoping the Super Trofeo is the best of the bunch because it's the most insane looking. It should be the best of the bunch. Unfortunately, it seems to have the uh wait a minute, what the hell is that? That's an interesting choice for a hood view. Uh-oh. It's got some quick gears. Oh dear. Uh, but actually, no wait. I thought it was gonna have some really bad handling. It's not terrible, but ooh, it's definitely it feels like the weakest. Oh dear. So are you actually gonna tell me that the super? So yeah, apparently now, apparently the super stroke fail will somehow be the worst, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it it can it can certainly get up to speed quick, but but come on, what is with this ha these handling? I mean, look, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not. I, oh yeah, okay. By no means is it any slow. That's 225. That's the highest I've actually gotten any of these Gallardos up to with but uh, the handling why what is it what what is it what this thing not handling I mean the, the Super Legera was a nice grippy machine with a lot of turning the Super Trofeo should be even better than that because it's you know it, it's basically like a full-fledged race car nope apparently not I, I mean this the, the flat-out top end is what definitely helps this car from being completely bad I mean, at, le at least it's got a good top end, and at least it's, you know, still a little bit, it's still more grippier than something like that one-to-one, -one, and especially that Aventador J, but, again, it just, it feels like there could be so much more to the Super Trofeo, but it's, but there isn't. The Super Legere would be able to, to, wa to walk around to the track, would be able, would definitely be doing quicker because it just has more grip. This thing is fast, but it but it just lacks a little bit. I mean, it's, I mean, again, it's not the wor again, it's not the worst, but it's it could also be better. So, I mean, 
I mean, again, at least it's the at least the speed is what it's, is what it's got is going for the Super Trofeo. I mean, the fi and, and you know, a 55.44 ain't bad. It certainly isn't bad at all. It's just again, the handling could be it could be a little more sharper. So I guess I got to give credit to the modder for at least making this car be fast on the top end sakes. So that definitely does ba balance it out, kind of like that one to one. Although the one to one had still had really fucking bad handling. But, you know, the Super Trofeo just needs a little bit more and be even better. But, you know, it's at least at, at least it's still a fast vehicle. In fact, this is like the three fastest Lamborghinis. I've, I'm pretty sure I've had like the, these, the three that I've tested today are like the three fastest Lamborghinis I've ever had. Because the Gallardo, both the Gallardo and the Murcielago in this game are kind of disap- are really much a disap- We're really- oh, whoops. We're really much a disappointment, if anything. I get- this lap's pretty much already invalidated, so... But yeah, it's, it's so yeah, it's still a really good. It's still these this, these cars are still the best. The Super Leggera was a lot of fun to drive, and I mean the Super Trofeo, it's not that grippy. But I guess the more I'm driving it, the more I realize it's not actually that bad. It just it's just lacking compared to the uh, to compared to the Super Leggera. So, so you, you gotta you gotta slow down a little bit more than you would have to with the Super Leggera. So. I'm just trying to make sure I can keep this going fast, but I don't know. I've, I felt like I've already might have screwed up this lap, so. I'm going to keep trying. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, there goes that lap. My, let's just let's just see what, what the top end of this car actually is, then. Since this lap's already invalidated. Wow, apparently 253. This is apparently Bugatti Veyron speed in a uh, race car. But yeah, there we go. Good enough. As we fin as we of course we finish with a fifty five oh wow, fifty six point six six for that invalidated lap. But yeah, fifty five point four four, still a good lap. But again, if it had a little bit more handling, it, it probably would have been the best of the bunch, but you know, at least it's not Aventador J bad. First off, I'd like to apologize just before I get into this leaderboard uh, about the uh, levels in my my microphone. It's been a lot more difficult to find the right balance in Windows 10 because it tends to work a little bit differently. It was easy with 7, but with 10, I'm, I'm still trying to find that area since it's a little bit different on where it sounds the best without getting too distorted. I was watching back the some of the, the clip with the first Gallardo, and it got a bit too distorted, so oops. I'm, I Again, I apologize. Trying to find the right balance. So, But anyways, with the leaderboard, uh, the fastest car of the day, of course, in 18th place is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP570-4 Super Leggera with a 53.07 second lap time, which put which is almost now pushing the M3 GTR, the, the fastest vanilla car in the game, down to 19th, which means it's now a couple shy of not even being in the top 20 anymore. That's how ridiculous this is, list has been getting. A little bit down into 36th place, which I, I ironically I think is also 18 positions down, if my math is correct. <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, anyways, is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP570-4 Super Trofeo with a 55.44 second lap time, Iron just one hundredth of a second faster than the both the Corvette C6 and a Toyota Yaris, and just a sh tad bit shy off the uh, 911 GT2 993. And finally, the slowest car of the day, down in in a tie, actually, for 62nd place with the Super Impressive WRX SCI is the 2013 Gallardo LP560-4, which honestly only is really down there because the car is only, only does 175 miles an hour. What up with that? Yeah, but 57.90 ties with the Impreza, just a little bit off the Dodge Ram and Murcielago, but beats out the 911 Turbo S and Lexus IS300. So anyways, next episode, we're, we're going to go from one Italian manufacturer to another Italian manufacturer. But not all this, but not three different variations of the same car, though. So stay tuned for that, and as always, thank you guys for watching, and take care, and follow me on Twitter, and donate to my Patreon. Not actually required, but I would appreciate it. But regardless, thank you guys, and take care.